if you've been researching what desktop laser engraver to buy, you've probably noticed that the amount of options available is a little overwhelming. Well, I've got some news for you. There is another. That's right, the D1 from Xtool is the latest entry into the market. But this has a few major differences. First off, Xtool isn't a new company. They've been making CO2 lasers for a few years now. Second, a D1 isn't just made from off-the-shelf components. These are all proprietary parts that were specifically designed for this machine. You can see a lot of the features that have been adapted from their more expensive line of CO2 lasers. And finally, they offer more than just a 5 watt laser. The D1 is available in a 5 and 10 watt model. The obvious thing to do would be to compare this to the Otor and other lasers, but honestly, I put this one in a class of its own. Build quality is second to none. Instead of using plastic wheels riding on off-the-shelf T-slot, this uses steel wheels and rails. Assembly is a piece of cake. Plan on spending about 20 to 30 minutes on this. Unlike many of the other diode lasers available, Xtool has their own software. It's pretty basic, but it's great for new users. For more experienced users or people just looking to get a little more out of their machine, you can also use Lightburn. This is a paid program, it costs about 60 bucks, but it has a lot more features. Where I do feel their software really shines is when it comes to doing round objects like cups. Xtool has a rotary attachment, and it's way easier to use than anything else I've ever seen. The unit connects to the machine with a single plug. Then you just select the option for the rotary attachment and laser box. I don't think it could get any easier than that. I had no idea how much fun I'd have with this feature. It's one of my favorite things to do and is a great way to make customized gifts or products to sell. One thing to consider is the fumes produced for the laser burning different materials. Some can be toxic. I started just using this in my garage, and something like a fan can be great to blow the fumes out of an open door. But when I saw just how capable this machine was, I ended up reconfiguring the enclosure that I had built for my Otor to fit the D1. I have a video with free plans if you're interested in making one for yourself. I'll put a link in the description to it. The difference in capabilities between a 5 watt and 10 watt laser is huge. It's really amazing what this thing can do. Here's a quarter inch piece of solid walnut that I'm cutting in a single pass. I even threw in a piece of 3 quarter inch pine just to see how far I could get in a single pass. That's over halfway through. Not only does it excel at cutting through materials like wood, leather, and acrylic, it can also do super detailed engravings. Getting my first laser was a big deal for me. It opened up a world of possibilities that I had never even thought about. It does leave you wanting more though. The D1 does a great job of bridging the gap between inexpensive diode lasers and the CO2 lasers that can cost thousands of dollars. You can run this machine with a PC, Mac, and they even have an app for your phone. Another cool feature is that you can either use a wired or wireless connection. If you'd like more info about this machine or to purchase one for yourself, I'll have an affiliate link in the description. I get a small kickback from these sales, so you'll really be helping the channel out. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I'd really appreciate if you would like, share, and leave a comment. If you're looking to see a cool project I did with the help of this laser, Check out the knife handle and sheath I made in this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.